Aloha, Hawaii. I'm Wendy Lowe, and I want to be your friend as we journey to take your health back. We are coming to you live from downtown Honolulu from the studios of Think Tech Hawaii in the Pioneer Plaza building. Today, our topic of discussion will be on taking steps towards better health. Just one step at a time. That's the only way you can do it, one step at a time. But don't do this alone because it's just better with a friend. Ask family and friends to join you in your quest for better health. It's always better to do anything with a buddy. Community groups like Walk with a Doc Oahu and Walk with a Future Doc will always boost your success. We all want to live a healthy, long, healthy and happy life. But how do we actually move into action to eat better and ex exercise more? Today, I'd like to introduce a special doc <laughs> that will show you exactly how simple this is to do one step at a time. This is Teresa Wee, Dr. Teresa Wee, I should say. And you've been on my show before and yes, you are fabulous oh, and you encourage you. so many people to just get up on a Saturday morning and walk. And come walk with me. And come walk with yeah. you. And, you know, again, whether you're Chinese or not, this makes <laughs> a lot of sense because she free advice. Yep, you yep. can ask her what you need to ask her. You can say, hey, you know what, I get one ink over here. How come? <laughs> and she's going to help you through it as you walk. Yep, as you walk. Exactly. So be, take it away from the walk. I want to say that you do a fabulous job with that. But I want to talk more about right now. You just recently completed a fair. And it yes. was a very amazing health and wellness fair. Yes. Put on and sponsored by Walk with a Doc. Yeah. And um, I was there. I thought it was well done. Thank well you. visited and um what was your take on it well you know this was a little idea i said um you know to celebrate our third year anniversary i said let's have a little health fair let's make it exciting so it kind of kept growing and so we had 30 health vendors we had uh, a stage sound system we had four community groups perform and of course, we had 30 health vendors, including yourself. Yay! It was I great. A, oh, yeah. And you know, it was really neat because families, young and old, came out yes. and they were asking all kinds of questions like, don't you know these answers already? But no, they were really wanting and very engaged yes. on the questions they were asking. They were really looking for answers yeah. because they probably were being sick and tired of being sick and tired. Right. And so this was to promote Walk with a Doc. So we, we had about 70 people at our walk that morning. And then we all went over to the aquatic center where we had our health fair. And the people there, the vendors told me everyone was so engaged and asking questions and and especially our seniors, so especially our kapunas, we're, we're so really excited to have it. So I know that the first one was a success. Yeah. You already have a date for oh. 2020. Yeah. Yes. So, yes, we definitely have a date. It'll be the first uh, Saturday of April. Oh, the first Saturday of April. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. very so good. So it's already set at very good. Central Oahu Regional Park. And so the same location. Same location. And um, yeah, so we're going to hopefully have more vendors yes, who yes. are interested in coming. You know, you, for your first time, I do a lot of events, uh -huh. um, large and small, as you know as yourself. But you were very well organized. The vendors Thank felt you. very much at home. They knew exactly where to go. You had... <laughs> Your family and your staff, <laughs> you know, very well informed. So that helps when we're doing yeah, events. Yeah. So then you made us feel really welcomed and Good. organized. Good. So then your guests and all the visitors, the residents of the area, they felt the same. So they were then now ready to receive all the great information yeah. that these vendors had to share with everyone. And I was really excited to have it in our area um, as a resident of Waipio Gentry and now Mililani. It's nice to have something in our community um, where we don't have to always drive into town. Yes, I, I think that was, you know, I, I don't remember or know. I mean, I know there are fairs, yeah. large and small, but this one, just you, you just got to do it every year and build it up. So yeah. they look forward yeah. to it. Yeah. And then, like you say, growing the amount of vendors there. Yeah. Um, I myself was very pleased. I had an opportunity to walk around. Yes. And I was very impressed with, um, what is it, Wahiwa General Hospital. Uh -huh. And... Um, it was really neat because while I was there, they were telling me that they're going to downsize. Yes. And they were doing some different things, but they've already announced that they are downsizing. But the neat thing that I learned at that uh, uh, event was that they are downsizing mm -hmm. and they were going to use part of the wings that they weren't using or are not using now. And they're going to have programs to address towards the homeless community. Yeah. So they can bring them in and have programs there. And I said, yeah. hey, you know what? 
I think your representative is at the fair. Yes. Right? Yes. So a representative of that district was there. And so I said, you know what? Come here, Rep. You got to talk to these guys at Wahiwa yeah. General. Yeah. And he didn't know anything about this. Uh, and so I said, you know, he's really trying to resurrect this right. facility right. to help the community. Right. Can you guys, like, partner up? And so they got each other's numbers yeah. and names, and they really are doing headway on making more facilities available for that community. Yeah, I think just, you know, being familiar with the central Oahu area and connecting with one another, that's what it's about. It's about connecting. Right, and that's why walk with a doc. Okay, yeah. and so now, you, as you mentioned, this is your third year? Right, th three and a half years now. Okay, so what prompted you to start this? Give up your Saturday uh, mornings to get everything organized and then say, hey, you guys come out and walk with me. I want to share my health experience and I want you to experience it as well. What prompts you to do this? You know, um, well, on, on the last program, I told you I, I lost my husband suddenly and unexpectedly. I decided I needed to just pick up and I could either quit being a doctor or I could pick up the pieces and go. I decided I would give it a try, and in the back of my head, I always wanted to do something to really help the community get in better health. As a pediatrician of 35 years, I've seen so, so much illness in our pediatric group. Um, we see pediatric obesity, and we're seeing um, prediabetes and other problems um, in our teens. So what happened is I ended up with a septic knee, and I was in the hospital for six days, and. I told my pastor, if I recover from this, I think I'm going to finally do something I've been thinking about, walk with a doc. And so I said, even if one person comes, it'll be worth it. We'll give it a try. Wow. Yeah. And so you've been at it for three years. Three, yeah. And I know you have more than one person coming out. I even had a free sun Saturday, and I made it out to yeah. be with you. And I know that you gave me options. Uh, being the first time out, you said I can do, what are your different options for the walk? Yeah, so we have a, a short circular route, we have a medium route, and then we have a long route, which is approximately 1.7 miles, takes about 45 minutes. I did 1.7 miles that yeah. morning? Oh my gosh. Yeah, if you want okay. to. Right. Yeah, I did. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. And it I is. had a great time. I made new friends. Yeah. 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 We're, we're like a family. Everyone, we're there with one goal in mind, to get healthy, but... It, it's been just amazing to really make friends. A lot of my seniors say it's the highlight of their week. Mm -hmm. And I hear testimonials almost every week about wow. how this walk has just improved their, their well-being. Right. Because, you know, like I said, you have to do life with a buddy. You do. And so whether you, I mean, how many people come out on a given Saturday well, morning? Well, last Saturday we had about 42. Whoa. Okay, so, so that's a summertime. lot of buddies. Yeah. I mean, you're going to click with somebody in that group. I mean, look at this group of happy, healthy, yeah. you know, look at the faces. You know, yeah. I, uh, that's the neatest part. And they come out with big smiles and they just want to love on you. Yep, yep. We, we hug and we just, you know, and every week I have a new health tip. So I educate you, we exercise and we fellowship. And it mm. is just so much fun to just be out there. And wow. I, I mean, I have to admit, there are some days I go, oh, I can't believe I have to do the walk. Right. But my husband goes, you're the doc. <laughs> but then once you're I the get doc in the walk, <laughs> I know. But once I get there, I'm so right. energized for sure. And I thought, you see all that energy coming off of them, looking at you, saying, "Let's go, doc." It's it's just right. amazing. So it it's really improved my my health and my well being, and and I'm trying to urge other physicians to do it. Wow! And so this. I mean, it's incredible. And I'm going to put a shout out if anybody comes or has a free Saturday, and you yeah. have like a five pound bag of oranges or yeah. apples, they come very welcome, right? Yes, I mean, yes. we don't, you don't potluck it. I know you provide a lot of it, yeah. but if you do have abundance, hey, I got like choke bananas on my tree right yeah. now, yeah. or the ugly kind orange, and you want to just share, come walk with the it's doc a, yeah. and have it ready for yeah. all the guests to enjoy. Yeah, so we're there 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. Central Oahu Regional Park near the tennis courts. Wow, close, Every to, your, Saturday. close to your office, I know. Yes. Very <laughs> convenient. But so I drove out on a Saturday morning, yeah. and I, I, you know, anytime I have that opportunity, I'd come out. But, you know, some people don't have that luxury of time, mm -hmm. and they maybe want to walk in town. So I understand you've launched a new program yes. right in Kakaako. I'm so excited. The medical students, Yes. Um, came and, and talked to me about starting a group, Walk with a Future Doc. So they, they do it every fourth Sunday from mm. 9 to 10 a.m. at Kaka'ako Waterfront Park. Wow. And it's just fantastic. They started in April. They have about 50 people coming every, every 
on, on that Sunday. Wow, yeah. that's amazing. And, I, and now I understand I walk with the future, Doc, because they're still in med school. They're still in medical school. Oh, okay, so I got it. And you know, right there, is it by, um, by the water park? So they have a, a abundance of parking. Oh, lots of parking. Lots of parking, right? Yeah, and, and I think it's so exciting to, to see the young medical students get excited about the impact they can have mm -hmm. on lives. And hopefully this will encourage them, instead of going into a specialty, right. to maybe look at primary care, which is what really what Hawaii needs, more primary care physicians. Wow, you know, I see a slide here, and like, that's the kind of walk I like. Yeah. You can see the ocean. Yes. So, you know, I, I actually <laughs> raised my kids at this park. This Kaka'ako <laughs> Park is a gem it right really there is. in the heart of Kaka'ako. And, you know, whether you're walking on the pathway with the ocean on, on, on that side and further down is a surf and, yeah. you know, big Kiwala Bowes is right there. Yeah. And then on your left side, there's hills of green grass. Yeah. And that was that's another part that I really yeah. enjoy. We were yeah. sliding down those hills and running up. Yep. And so whichever way you look at it, that yeah. park is brilliant. It's, it's beautiful. And people tell me, oh, is it safe? Of course it's safe. In fact, the medical students outreach to the homeless. And, mm -hmm. and we had the homeless come and join us with the walk and gave them some oranges and fruits and Aww. water. So talking to them about being healthy. Wow, so you see, they're not only getting education in the medical practice field, mm -hmm. but they're also doing community service oh, and yeah. outreaching. Yeah. And so you know what, maybe their heart may be that they may be that doctor. Yeah. Like the Aloha Medical Missions or yes. Doctors with Border, Without Borders, where yeah. they go beyond just their offices like I, you do. Yeah, I think it's, it's wonderful mm -hmm. to, to sort of influence them at this early stage yes. in their career. And can you imagine if these students are like 30 years old and when they turn 50, they'll yeah. say, you know, I've been doing this for 20 years. How can you be doing it for 20 years? You're so young. <laughs> you know what, my auntie, <laughs> Teresa Wee, she took me on the future walk with the dog and now I'm in the future and it's 20 years past yeah. that I've been doing yeah. this. So mahalo to Dr. Teresa Wee well. <laughs> for organizing, encouraging, and then paying it forward mm -hmm. by making it very convenient for the urban dwellers. Yes, so hopefully we'll, it'll pick up and we'll be doing it every Sunday, but right now it's every fourth Sunday. Wow, okay, so after you walk in this, with this beautiful scenery, what do you do after everyone gathers? Again, do you do the same rah, rah, feed them an orange, give them a talk? Yeah. And these are medical students. How do you, what do you talk to them about? Well, the medical students actually put on the talks themselves. Oh, they'll so, do it instead of yeah. you. No, I don't. Oh. That's their thing. This is their project. So. And, so, and you show up and walk with them? I walk with them. Wow. I show up. But I'm supporting them from a distance because wow. the medical school faculty has, have gotten on board. So it's really exciting wow. to, get, to get a community yes, involved. Yes, right. Perfect location. Yes. The most beautiful location with their school right there. Yes. You know, so... Okay, so as if that's not enough, you've got two major parks going, yeah. you've done health fairs, now you want to go hiking. Yeah, so <laughs> I, I've had this request from the seniors. Oh. It was the seniors, they said, Dr. Wee, can we go on hikes? And I said, you know, that's a great idea. Let's, so we've been doing hike with a doc. So this is, <laughs> this is um, over at Makapu Lighthouse Trail. We did that in June. And then last, last month in June, we went to Waihewa Botanical Gardens. Wow, so, so easy, I mean, manageable. Yeah, With manageable. scenes and just being out there in the environment. Yeah, wow. so it's been really fun. Um, uh, July 13th, um, the second Saturday, we're going to go to Mililani Malka Ravine Trail. Wow, that's amazing. So we're going to take a short break right now, mm -hmm. and then we're going to uh, return and catch up with all the other things that's ahead on your plate. Great. So thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Aloha, I'm Lauren Pear a host here at Think Tech Hawaii, a digital media company serving the people of Hawaii. We provide a video platform for citizen journalists to raise public awareness in Hawaii. We are a Hawaii nonprofit that depends on the generosity of its supporters to keep on going. We'd be grateful if you'd go to thinktechhawaii.com and make a donation to support us now. Thanks so much. <laughs> Hey, aloha. My name is Andrew Lanning. I'm the host of Security Matters Hawaii, airing every Wednesday here on Think Tech Hawaii, live from the studios. I'll bring you guests. I'll bring you information about the things in security that matter to keeping you safe, your coworkers safe, your family safe, to keep our community safe. Uh, we want to teach you about those things in our industry that, you know, may be a little outside of your experience. So please join me because security matters. Aloha.
Aloha and welcome back. I'm, I'm Wendy Lowe and I'm here to help you take your health back. Today we were talking, we are talking to Dr. Teresa Wee. And oh my gosh, the first half of this show went whoo, so quick. <laughs> so if you didn't catch half of what we said, go ahead, rewind the tape, go back, watch them one more time because there's a lot of information, especially if you have someone at home on Saturday mornings that are couch potatoes that aren't doing anything. Say, you know what, mom, dad, you guys should go to join Dr. Teresa Wee at the park and you know what, go walk with her. Go get some fresh air and get with some, there's like 40 some people mm -hmm. that come out on a Saturday morning to walk with Teresa, Dr. Wee, and um, they're having a great time and it's become something they look forward to. So mom, dad, aunties, uncles, go, mm -hmm. right? And so we're welcoming back uh, Dr. Teresa Wee and we're so excited. We learned that you walk in the park in YPO. Yes. You walk in the par park with the doctors of the future at Kakaako Park. Mm -hmm. And then the seniors requested that they want to go hiking with you. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> and I know that the if you want to announce that uh, after what period of time you're going to be slowing down on the hikes because the weather changes. Yeah, so starting in October, we're going to have Dance with the Dog. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, that's Musk in my, yeah. my level. Yeah. Right, and so we're going to have different venues that you're going to release right. in, uh, in so, for mothers. So my the owners, Wendy and Jeremy Gilbert, are kind enough. Potager Studio in YPO Gentry will open up every second Saturday from 5 to 6 p.m., and we're going to have land, line dancing, hip hop, um, hula. So every wow. month it'll be different. So you're really covering all bases. I hope so. Just venues for people to stay active. Right. And, you know, I always looked at Dr. Wee as a, being a doctor, an out-of-the-box doctor. <laughs> you know, she, I mean, well, I should say out-of-the-office doctor. Do you even spend time in the office? I, I'm joking. I do. <laughs> you know, because she spends her free time uh -huh. continuing to care for the people, not just the seniors, not just the Kiki, but everyone. Family. Families together. The Ohana come out together. They build mm -hmm. bonds and they have a good time. And that's what it's all about, you know, building family. And you know, when I look at what you're doing, it really reminds me of what you're trying to create is mm -hmm. like a blue zone. Yes. Right? Yes. I mean, that's the yeah, criteria really of is. a blue zone. Yes. The healthy eating lifestyle, um, the bonding. Mm -hmm. The bonding. The bonding between uh, generations. Yes. So you got your seniors, you got your, your kupuna, your keiki, coming out together, walking in the park, exercising, yep. and just laughing and growing and walking together. Yeah. And we also talk about not, not only exercising, but mindfulness mm -hmm. and, you know, how to de-stress and how to connect with nature. All these things become, you're, you're a whole person. Right. So we look at everything. You know, and you know, with everything that we have here in Hawaii, you would think we were or would be a blue zone. Yeah. But we're not there yet. So what you're creating, mm -hmm. and I know we have the blue zone initiatives, mm -hmm. And I'm um, very involved with many of them in yeah. town, all the different districts, trying to pull together the attributes of a blue zone so that we can live that way and have more centenarians, yeah. you know, yeah. come about and have our, our, our kupuna living to be past 100 right. in health and wellness. Right, right. And that's the key. You know, yeah. in Okinawa, I see all these older generations with the keiki. And what do they do? They wait for the keiki to come home from school. They wait on the street. When the kids run down the street, they love them and they hug yeah. them. And that's yeah. part of the whole cycle of life. Right, right. exactly. So we really got to focus on those things. Yeah. And by bringing them out to the park on a Saturday morning. It's wonderful for them. Yes. And, and even when you go hiking and even mm -hmm. when you start with the dancing, you know, mm -hmm. segment of what you're doing, bring the kikis out with the Yes, the so all, all ages are... Welcomed at, at any function. Yeah, so, so I'm so excited. I mean, of course, blue is my favorite color, <laughs> but the, it's the blue zone yes. that is, it mm -hmm. really excites me because that's what I'm learning and learning yeah. and understanding, trying as well, as well to promote yeah. because it's so valuable that we yeah. grow old in wellness and health. Exactly. Right? No more sickness. Yeah. We want to we wanna just do our best to make mm -hmm. things different exactly. for the future. So... Now uh, let's get back to you in your office, okay? Mm -hmm. So I met with you in your office, and I know you have a beautiful office with a beautiful weight room, <laughs> um, and that area is just spacious, and I know that you have so many different plans for that little, not actually not little, that big weight, waiting area, mm -hmm. and I know that you have conducted some classes in there as well. Yeah. So um, through the Aloha Care Insurance Community Intervention Program, I got a very generous grant where I'm doing family obesity workshops. It's called the Hawaii Healthy Revolution Workshops. And so what I do is I gather five or six families and 
with obese children, and we all kind of sit together for five Thursday evenings. We serve them dinner, and we talk about, you know, how, how do you live healthy? And I have a wonderful um, psychologist, Dr. Darren Fukuda, and a personal trainer, mm -hmm. um, who uh, Justin, who comes, and we all talk together about giving the families tools and mm -hmm. encouragement to, to live a healthy lifestyle. So we don't talk about diet or mm -mm. just doing something temporary. We no. talk about everything. Lifestyle. Yeah. And it's so key that you invite the whole family. Yes. Because it's not just, oh, ma, you got to lose weight, or right. it's kiki, you got to lose weight. Exactly. But it's a, it's a family deal. Yeah. Because if I'm trying to lose weight and everyone around me is not exercising with me and encouraging me on or just being there with me, it's a very difficult uphill battle. Yeah. And that's the problem a lot of people face. Yeah. So that's why if, the, if you don't have the family support right off, find a buddy. Yes. Find a buddy that's like-minded that will walk in the park with you. Right. And then that buddy may not be the one eating healthy. Then find another buddy that will eat healthy. Right. And then find another buddy that you can laugh your butt off with yeah. and just have a good time. If it means all the different components yeah. and not just out of one person. Right. Ideally, right. if it was one person mm -hmm. or one family that could live that, that's, you know, yeah. phenomenal. But, but, but that connection is so key mm -hmm. because now, now you're more willing. You get someone with, with a like mind, and now the two of you, you're even stronger. Right, and it's, it's like your accountability partners. Yes, yes. And, you know, like, you know, even like what you said, oh, sometimes Saturday I know. you wake up, oh, honey, I, I don't know about <laughs> you. You, you don't talk. You got to go. Right, so he's your accountability partner. He, he is. Right, and in the beginning, you probably had to encourage him, and then now he's so jazzed up about it. It's his lifestyle, and then he's encouraging you. Yeah. What a twist, right? Yeah, it is. Right? It is. But that's how it works because yeah. we can't hundred percent be on Not every all the time. Day. Even our first hike, I said, Oh my God, I gotta go Makapu Light Trail. What did I get myself <laughs> into? I don't feel like going. And do you know? So, you know, it was a smaller group, but once I got there, I'd never been on it. It was it just refreshed me and I was happy the whole weekend. That was your first time? Yes. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> That's because you're always busy working. Yeah, I, I, I have that. been busy. <laughs> but that is a very leisure, but yet it has some uh, ups, yeah. you know, on a, of a trail. Paved, but yeah, and it's not that easy. No, it it's is not. easy, but it's not that yeah. easy. Yeah. And if you want to do, if you're more advanced, you can sh go straight down, yeah. go to the ponds and, you know, with yeah. the right tide uh, yeah. environment. Yeah. But it's a beautiful, beautiful, I right. love going there, sitting on the point, and then they build that lookout tower yeah. area. You just stand there and you take the best photos. It's beautiful. It is serene. <laughs> and then with the white, right season being the whale season, ah, you're going to look out watching. and you'll see them all yeah. right there, dancing, frolicking right there Makapu in front of Light you. Trail House. And, you know, the following weekend, I took my grandsons there. <laughs> you went again? <laughs> yeah, I went again. <laughs> Mm. It was so pretty, and they wanted yes. to go hiking. So. Yeah, see, oh, you know, spot on, Grandma, man, <laughs> right? Yeah, and yeah, probably even more energetic than they are, and that's that's what it's all about. Yeah, yeah. So that you can enjoy them at that level, and right. they're enjoying you right. because you're meeting each other eye to eye. Yeah, it's yeah. not like oh yeah, two, two, oh yeah, she gotta she gotta stay home. <laughs> Her walker no can go up the hill, yeah. right? So yes, this exactly. Is, that's why I I think this of a love story, mm -hmm. you know. And I tell husbands and wives, I say, you know, you love her and she loves you. You guys married each other because you enjoy each other. Yeah. You're not his nurse and he's not your nurse. Yeah. So you know what? If you take care and be accountable and have a right. better quality of life, yes. you enjoy life together. And the thing is, technology now, everyone's on their video or whatever, mm -hmm. but, and we don't have time to connect. But the message I'm trying to get is, if you take a walk with your spouse or, or someone you love, your children, your keiki. It's so great to connect. So, so this is a great way to connect, make memories, mm -hmm. talk about, you know, communicate with one another. Just yeah. leads to more family bonding. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's the whole, the key right there. Yes. You know, and I know when I was in your office, I know I ran one idea by you and I, I want, I so want to use your office to run a movie night. Yeah, yeah. And then what Dr. Wee said to me was really sad. She says, Wendy, we had movie night, but only one family came. One couple? Yeah, only one, one family. Couple came, but I said, you know what? Hallelujah. One couple now knows more than yeah, they did before. They, they loved it. They loved it. And so, so I'm making a, a plea out to all of you. Ask the doc. <laughs> we want to see a movie in that office. And when she puts the announcement on that we're going to do movie night at the clinic, you all sign up for it so that we continue to have movies. And not only the movie, but the Q&A after the movie. Yes, yes. You know, like, 
I may have a question that's burning inside of me. I didn't right. know how to ask you because the time is so short in the office. Right, right. But now that it's more of an informal setting, yeah. I may be taking the time to ask you, yeah. you know, this one simple question that could save my life yes. and, um, or even someone that I care about. Yeah. And, in, you know, like a lot of my friends, they don't know where to start. Mm -hmm. So if I brought them to movie night, in fact, I'm having movie night tonight. Mm -hmm. And so what it is is I bring them there and... I. You know, we, we put it forth, hey, Dr. Wee, what was your take on that movie? Yeah. What do you feel about that? Do you yeah. agree with it or not? And how do you think people can adapt to this quality yeah. of life? And I think it's really good when doctors are outside of their offices. It, it's a more non-traditional setting and mm -hmm. people are more likely to open up with you. And, and, and they really feel like, wow, the doctor cares enough that she's coming out. And I do, right. you know. And that's the key. Mm -hmm. The doctor cares. Yeah. And, you know, unfortunately, the doctors are so busy and they have to take care of all the business behind being a doctor yeah. in the office and running of a successful mm -hmm. clinic. So time is very limited. It and is. it's no fault of the doctor. They, we all have to pay bills. Yep. Yep. Right. And so having that movie night, mm -hmm. taking your time out mm -hmm. of your life to really care about these people, it will change their hearts as yeah. well yeah. of how they feel and view themselves. Yeah. So I try to go out and, and I tell other physicians, you know, you don't have to do everything I'm doing, but, but maybe just, just reach out and do, do something in your office, a group talk or question mm -hmm. and answer. Mm -hmm. I think it would be, you know, showing that you really do care because outside of, you know, the office visit is so limited. So this way, people can really engage with you. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there are a lot of opportunities for us to learn about different mm -hmm. ways uh, we can manage our health better. I know we have coming up on August 10th. Yes. Yeah, the American Heart Association has the Heart Walk. And on a larger scale, because mm -hmm. they're a national organization, they're coming out and we're going to be, we're all going to be there. And then I know in October. October, you yeah, have. We have a flyer coming up on uh -huh. October 13th. Uh, is it October 10th to the 13th? Mm -hmm. It's Camp e Ola Ke Keki. Uh -huh. And these are, I'm making a plea out now. And in fact, with the American Diabetes, that's where you and I first met, Dr. Wee. Yes, yes. I know your heart is always there, <laughs> and I'm like, wow. But I did want to give a shout out to this camp coming up. Yeah. It will be our second year. It's for type 1 diabetic Diabetes. children mm -hmm. uh, from age 7 through 17. Mm -hmm. And I'm letting you know now. So if you know your neighbor was mm -hmm. just diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, let them know that we have a camp to support and show them that they're not the only ones. Yeah. And last year, after the kids got through with the camp, they really felt inclusive of mm -hmm. life and not having to be pulled out of sports or having to take their medication and say, Mom, why me? It's like, wow, look at us, Mom. We're yeah. a special group of people. Yeah. So we want them to be inclusive and feel loved, mm -hmm. and we offer that support I for them. I think that's a great program, and yes. I will definitely let my... Mm -hmm. Patients know about it. Yes. So thank you so much, Dr. Oh, Wee. Thank you. Uh, the time has now come to a close, wow. but we just want to mahalo you. Thank so you. So come out, everyone. Walk with the doc, kaka'ako or waipio, yeah. and enjoy. And look for the dancers, and look for the movie night coming along, right? Yep. Yeah. They can go to my Facebook page. Yes. <laughs> Aloha, everybody. Bye-bye.